everyone, let's take a look at um, this multiple choice question. So the graph below, I am given the cumulative frequency distribution for the SAT scores. And I would actually argue looking at it, it looks like I'm giving uh, given relative frequencies because those are percentages. Um, and these are, okay, so my variable here is SAT scores. I, I know the SAT score has changed their um, total through the years. Like sometimes it's 1,600, sometimes it's 2,400. And it looks like this one is got a max of 1600. So this is either the really old version or the most recent one. Um, and it says, what test score represents the 64th percentile? So if I ever want the 64th percentile, and let me just change pen colors here, let's hike up to 64% along the y-axis and see what what score it is in contact or in paired with. I can't use my words right now. So there's the 64th percentile-ish. It's just below the 65th percentile there. And then I'm just gonna drop this vertical bar down and see where it lands. And it looks like it's around here. I can't quite get a 90 degree here, but this looks to be around the score. And it, that looks to me to be around 1100. So let me change pen colors again. It looks like the score that is paired with the 64th percentile is around 1100, right? So we would say that 64% of students scored 1100 or less on this SAT. And that's how I could interpret it, but there's my multiple choice answer. And just so we have it for note, if I had asked you instead for something like the median, right, that would have been the 50th percentile. So instead of going 64% of the way up, and again, let me, I'll change my pen color to blue, I would have gone half of the way up and seen what, what was the corresponding test score, like somewhere around 1,000. Um, and if I wanted Q3, you would have gone to the 75th percentile, right? And if I wanted Q1, you would have gone to the 25th percentile. All right, so if it was Q3, you would have gone here along the y-axis, and it was Q1, you would have gone here. And then if I asked you for the IQR, you could have subtracted those two numbers. So as long as you're given this cumulative relative frequency uh, graph, you can find any percentile on there just by going up to the correct percentile and seeing what value of your variable it corresponds to. All right, thanks so much. Bye.